Welcome to Goa. We just arrived in Goa and of course the first thing we have to do is come to the beautiful beach. You can see all the restaurants lined across the beach. I just got my morning coffee and no better way to start the day. After a long <laughs> flight, we arrived and we're so tired. So immediately took a nap and now we're out during lunch in Anjana Goa where all the restaurants are. So we've just stopped at one of the most beautiful restaurants. This place is called, I think it's called Lush. Look at this view. Now this is life. Oh my gosh. Get a chilled beer, some appetizers. This is our first stop and next we're going to go to either Sophie or Purple Martini. But this is life when you're in Goa. And next we're probably going to get some food because we just did beers here. This part of the city was super safe and super pretty. You can go through these little streets with all these stalls uh, selling different touristy items, even tattoo shops, and it's basically restaurant after restaurant that you go hopping in this area. We have now arrived in Anjana, Goa. And our next stop is Purple Martini, which is supposed to be one of the nicest patios here. And as you walk around, you'll see a lot of pretty stores. The walls are all painted. I'm not even joking when I tell you that this looks like Greece. Some of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. And as you know, I like to do my research. So I looked up the best patios to go see in Goa and Purple Martini was top on almost every list for its food, its music and its location. Here we ordered just appetizers and I ordered a masala papad, which if you're in India, this is a must try appetizer. It's crispy and it's fresh, which is perfect in the heat. And then also to spice things up, I ordered a chili chicken. All right, I just stepped out for a minute because as you can hear in the background, the music, the DJ is really pumping the tunes in there. But I would say Purple Martini is one of the nicest cafes I've been to, restaurants. The view is unreal and if you want an Instagrammable location where you want good food and good pictures and good vibes, this is probably the best place to come out and check out in Goa. We're now walking the streets and have come to Art Juna Cafe which is like a hidden gem here and you're gonna know why in just one second. It's safe to say the vibes were vibing here and Goa is known to be a party city but if you want a fun atmosphere, this is a place to check out. Now on our way to the beach, I've got my beach outfit on. It is now 8.40. It's already getting hotter and I am ready to jump into that water cannonball. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. This is my second time coming back to Goa and these are three things that really surprised me. First, the water is actually warm. It's not cold at all. Second is it's not polluted and it's not overcrowded. Goa is definitely the party and vacation city of India, but it's kept so beautifully here. And so the entire experience is amazing. Now, if you've reached till here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment what you want to see next. I post videos like this all the time, so make sure to stay tuned for what's coming next. Goa! Goa! We made it! I think my face is gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goa! 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 Goa!